Dear friends, we are going to learn about shifting and lagging in Pandas time series today. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have downloaded Facebook stock price from Google Finance in this CSV file and I am reading that into my Jupyter notebook and preparing this data frame here. Now I can call shift function on Pandas data frame to shift the prices by one day one means it will shift the prices by one day you can see that the price on 15 which was 171 is now the price on 16 it got shifted by one day if you do two it will shift it by two so you can see now the price is on 17 and since 15 and 16 doesn't have prices it will be not a number you can see in this diagram how shifting works it will just shift the data points to the right hand side okay now what if you want to do reverse and you want to shift the data points on the left hand side for that you can use minus one and you will now notice that the price on 16 which was 170 is the price on 15 so shifting with positive and negative values will just shift the data points either on right hand side or left hand side now you can call the shift method either on data frame or on time series okay so this method is available on both of it now you might be wondering what is the use of this shifting method so one common use in financial analysis is to calculate let's say percentage change in one day prices okay or let's say just calculating the price change in certain amount of day okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to demonstrate that so we'll first create previous day price column in my data frame and the way you do it is by calling shift so now I have previous day prices for all the dates. So you can see that on 16, my previous day price was 171. Using this new column, now it should be easy to calculate the price change in one day. So what you need to do is just uh, uh, subtract the previous day price from today's price okay and you can see that now I have one day change here so on 16 the one day change was minus 1 because the current price is 171 previous day was 170 current price is 170 previous day was 171 so price change is minus 1 okay now how about calculating five day return so i want to look at the prices before five days and i want to calculate the percentage return so i will say five day percentage return is equal to you take your current price which is a df price then you take the price before five days so this is how you get the price before five days okay this way you get a difference in those last five days okay and since we are calculating percentage i'm going to multiply it by 100 and then take the base price which is the price before five days when i run this i will get my five day percentage return okay for all these days it is not a number because there was there is no price available before five days but on 22nd the price before five days is this which is 171 so we are doing 169 minus 171 and using 171 as a base price to uh, calculate this percentage return now instead of uh shifting the data points which is my price let's say i want to shift my dates so i want to keep my data point intact and i want to just adjust my dates how do i do that well pandas has support for that also and let's do that here 
so first I'm going to simplify my data frame by just having price column and this will remove all other extra columns so my data frame is now simplified now first thing I want to check is the index you can see the frequency of this index is none now in order for pandas to shift these dates it needs to know the frequency right so when you are saying okay shift these dates by one it, it wants to know like what is the frequency and how the shifting should happen so i'm going to create a frequency so in this case it is a business day frequency because stocks don't trade on weekends so you can see that weekend prices are missing so after 18 19 and 20 was weekend so it is not available hence it is a business day frequency and you all know from previous tutorial that to create a new uh, date time index we can use date range function with start date of this and i have 10 periods and we're just going to say 10 and my frequency is business frequency and I'm going to save that into this index okay so you see that I have got a business frequency date time index and then you know what actually I can directly do this okay and that way my data frame looks same see 15 to 28 15 to 28 it is same but the only difference is my is that now my index has a frequency okay now you can call data frames t shift function t shift will adjust the dates and not the data points so you can see that now the prices is still 171 but it moved the date by one day so 15 is now 16 here 17 18 and so on and my last date is 29 same thing you can supply negative value to shift it in a reverse order okay so that's all i had for this tutorial you can find the link of the jupyter notebook used in this tutorial in the video description below okay thank you very much for watching and i will see you next tutorial